What's the largest plane to land on an aircraft carrier? Well, somehow it was the huge C-130. See, the first supercarrier had just been commissioned in 1955, the USS Forrestal. But there was a problem. No aircraft was capable of resupplying a carrier in the middle of the ocean as they all lacked fuel capacity. But this gave the US Navy an idea. The Forrestal's flight deck was just over 1,000 feet long and 250 feet wide. This may just be big enough to allow a C-130 to land and take off. But there was another problem, the pilots. Because C-130 pilots had no no experience with landing on a carrier, but US Navy fighter pilots had no experience flying a C-130. So which pilots did they choose? Well, if you guessed fighter pilots, you'd be correct. So over the course of three days in 1963, they began the tests, and they were a huge success. In fact, the C-130F conducted a total of 29 touch-and-goes and 21 full-stop landings, managing to come to a full stop in 267 feet and take off with over 55 tons of weight. But despite their success, the US Navy concluded it was too risky and opted for the C-2A Greyhound instead.